So here's the thing. So, so you have this shooter and you have another shooter, right? Yeah. So this shooter had uh, three or so f cell phones. Mm. The FBI's never gotten them opened. Wow. The other shooter, three apps, they call them. And I believe they were foreign based apps, from what I understand. Oh, wow. They haven't opened them and they're foreign based. And you know, you hear all about Iran. If Kamala Harris had been shot at, it would look different. If Biden had been shot at, it would look different. And it's, it's just unbelievable what we have to experience. In interesting that both guys who tried to assassinate Trump had multiple phones that the police are not able to uh, open and find out who they were, who they were in communications with, what you know what was what were their backgrounds we've heard r right about nothing about any of them the wokists and the islamists are ruining the west and we need to stop them and i support donald trump and i'm very very happy with this interview i hope you you'll watch it uh, i was rough on iran and they supposedly have a hit on me in fact i think it takes great courage for you people to be interviewing me, because it could be now, you know. Yeah. Well, we didn't right know that now. before we got in here. No, before. if you would have known that, you might not have <laughs> yeah. done this. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Secret service. In fact, we'll this is you. a good way of me getting the interview to be short. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, he's going to say, you know, okay, that's it. Thank you very much, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Yeah. Go see my great. daughter. Yeah. 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 They have three apps, and foreign-based, two of them, maybe three of them are foreign-based. They wow. haven't opened them yet. Why wouldn't you open them when you hear about Iran or when you hear about, you know, foreign... Then the other one had six cell phones and they haven't opened. Now, you know, it's very hard to open a cell phone. Only Apple can do it in theory, unless you have somebody. But they had no problem getting the J6 people cell phones open. They opened their cell phones very quickly. You know, we have two countries in a way. What's happening here is very bad, very dangerous. Cell phones. Mm -hmm. Having six cell phones is weird. I have cell phones. If I ever have two, it's like a lot. Yeah. He had six cell phones. Why does he have them? And why haven't they opened up those cell phones? So if, if you had and, to And guess. it's different. You know, if you're a drug dealer, I think it's terrible in many ways, but I guess from another standpoint, Apple, the primary group, uh, people buy those phones because they will never open them for right. any reason. Hmm. And, but uh, they got them open on J6. You know, they opened up their phones, but they don't open. And this is big stuff. This is an assassination attempt. And it could involve other countries. Right? There was that San Bernardino shooter that they hacked. The FBI was able to hack into the phone. Apple didn't give it up, but they were there able to are hack some in. people in the world, very few, that can that have an ability to sometimes be able to hack in. Got it. Very rarely, actually. Yeah. It's an amazing thing when you think that with all the genius, you almost can't do it. But Apple has a key, and the uh, key is open. I mean, it just they can do it immediately. Yeah. But they don't do it. And Apple is very strong on that. But when it comes to the assassination of a president, leading candidate, yeah. former president, all that, I think the rules have to go out and they have to open those things and they have mm -hmm. to find out. Hmm. And, so, in, and in know, terms of national security. Some people would say you have this. to either punish Apple or you have to get somebody that can do it. But in terms of national security, so the one guy has six phones, lots of messages to people. Who are those people he's calling when he's hiding behind a bush? So if you had well, to get um, people who tried to assassinate Trump um, had multiple phones, multiple cell phones, and um, the police, the FBI, have not been able to open these phones. And um, he was talking about um, foreign apps um, installed on the phones. Um, and I don't know what that is and what it's about, but it sounded as if they they had tried many things. They had tried with Apple, they had tried with hackers, and uh, it seemed as if there is no way um, the United States has any um, possibility to open these phones while we know that many other phones, you know, in, in the history of... Um, terrorists and other people who use phones, um, you can track them, you can open them and so on. So this is, I, I don't believe this. Um, I believe that what Trump was uh, 
talking about is the two tier policing that um we you know we've seen in the UK and all around the western world when it for instance comes to the Palestinian pro Palestinian movement being having mass and being violent and so on and getting away with it while if it was you know um any right wing movement that had acted like that in the western world it would look very different the policing would look very different different um and and this two tier policing and their lawfare against trump as well as against tommy robinson myself in denmark i'm experiencing the same um it's it's uh, that's 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 how democracies fall you know uh, don't have the same um you know don't have the same rules for for everyone and that's that's how democracies fall um try to limit people's speech that's how democracies fall um and and i i i'm just in shock and he kind of sort of said something about iran in connection with these two assassination attempts and um, he also said you know biden could just go out there or kamala harris could just go out there and say you know if iran is involved in these assassination attempts we will we will answer back harshly 